you feel in some type of way. You start to get stressed out. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Oh, heck no. And it's like, mm-mm. <sighs> out through the mouth. It's us a peace of mind. Regulate our mood, circadian rhythms, sleep, and our cognition. It's a great combination. And not only that, but it's very meditative for me. And that's why having a good, strong foundation in mental health is key. Thrivers and Healers. I am Natasha Desai, founder of Thrivers Inspire Healing, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And if not, well, I am sharing with you all some activities and things that I love to do in order to keep myself feeling good and having more good days. So today's topic is about mental health. And mental health is essentially about how we think, and how we feel, how we process our emotions according to what's going on outside in our, our outside world, as well as just how we feel about ourselves and so on and so forth. So, as we know, we can plan many things in life, right? We can plan to have all great days. Ideally, we would all enjoy a great day where things just go the way we plan, the way we want things to go, right? But sometimes things don't always go that way. And that's why having a good, strong foundation in mental health is key. So for example, you could be going out, right? You're getting ready. Your girlfriend say, all right, we're going to get ready. We're going to go out. We're going to look cute. We're going to have a grand old time. We're going to have a great weekend and all type of stuff. You got ready. You got dressed. You're about to head out the door. And next thing, your phone ring, right? You pick up your phone. You're like, she said, girl, we cancel. Cancel? Oh, heck no. So you feel feeling some type of way, right? You at work right you're doing your work you're feeling good you're like listen i'm just gonna go to work do my work i'm gonna go home and i'm just gonna chill right no boss acting the fool and boss is saying you're not doing this right you know you're not working fast enough whatever this this and this and it's like mm -mm. you feeling some type of way you start to get stressed out ain't nobody got time for that right so you know these things can come to us Especially, you know, a lot of us experience it with 2020. A lot of people, you know, we start out the new year. As soon as that ball dropped, that bell ring, whatever, you know, you're going out with your little horn. Brrr, happy new year, all type of stuff, right? And we're like, it's the year 2020. 2020 vision. Oh, you know, and people writing down all their favorite dreams, anything that they want to do. Couple months in, what happened? Rona hit. People got upset. People really got upset, not only because they couldn't, you know, they had to put a lot of things on pause. We wearing masks and all type of stuff. And it's like, this is a world that we have not experienced before, you know? And all these people around us getting sick and family members and friends and stuff like this, you know, it was a really trying time for a lot of us. And I truly sympathize with all who have gone through these things because it was just a curveball that most of us, if not all of us, have seen coming. And so people were just doing all types of stuff. Some people, they, they were just like, they're just gonna live their lives. Other people, you know, they're ordering dinosaur outfits and stuff from the, um, you know, from online and it's like, you know, people just doing their thing because they're just trying to find that happiness. They're trying to find that peace. And that's the thing with mental health is how we all looked at and experienced this. For some people, this was more stressful than others. And the point is, is that when we experience these stresses, it can really take a toll on our body. 
because it's the release of a lot of stress chemicals, this is what a lot of stress chemicals such as cortisol, right? Cortisol can really wreak havoc on the body, especially if there's a great abundance of it. It does have its place, you know, there's a certain level, but when it gets to be a lot, then of course we can experience a lot of you know, things like joint pain and, and stiffness and, and just all different types of things that is adverse um, in our body. So the things that I'm going to share with you guys today will help to elicit the positive chemicals in our body, right? So there are four of them that I will be going over. Now, they do have multiple uses in the body it's not just about feeling good but they are well known because they do help to make us feel good so the first one is serotonin serotonin helps to regulate our mood circadian rhythms sleep and our cognition the way we think so it is primarily produced in the gut um and it is when we consume protein rich foods that contain the amino acid called tryptophan right and so when our bodies take that in it can convert the tryptophan into serotonin and therefore you know it helps to increase that then we have the dopamine this is what i call the motivating factor this is when we're thinking of something that we really, really love to do and we just want to do, we just want to get up and go do it, right? That dopamine is being activated in our body. The next thing is oxytocin. Oxytocin, you may have heard of it before. People call it the love hormone, the bonding hormone. And, you know, it, it, it is um, produced typically when we are around um, those that we love and trust, such as friends and family members, it is definitely useful in the body to help regulate stress and calm nerves. So it is a plus and it's also good for wound healing. And we have endorphins. So the endorphins um, is typically activated after we have a great exercise and we're feeling good and it helps with pain relief as well as relaxation. So those are the four chemicals in our body that allows us to feel good and um, help to improve our mood and our overall mental health. So there are seven different things that I enjoy doing to help keep my mental health at a good place so that if any stresses do come around, I'm able to overcome those obstacles and, you know, be at a good, strong foundational place. So one of the first things that I truly love, 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 love doing is spending time in nature. There are actual studies out there that speak on green spaces, the importance of green spaces. So what are these green spaces? We're looking at the green trees, the grass, the leaves, the flowers, being amongst the um, just overall plant, um, being by rivers and streams, and just having that time to just relax in these spaces. Even having a good view. A lot of people talk about when they get a house and they're like, well, what's the view outside? Because you want to be able to look outside. Some people want to wash their dishes and look out and see a beautiful scenery outside from their sink, right? <laughs> and so that gives us a peace of mind in some way, you know? And so being out in nature has helped me a lot. Now the next one is the breath. So many of us have not thought so much about the breath. We can point B all throughout the day, wake up, eat, do all that stuff, go to bed, not once think about our breath, right? Because it just happens naturally. However, we can have, we can utilize the breath to help us to come to a space where we can just relax. Just relax. So, one of my favorite things to do is to do deep breathing. So typically I would breathe deep through 
through the nose and out through the mouth. So I would go like this. Right? So why don't you try it, okay? So in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now, when you're doing this, when you're breathing through the nose, you're actually expanding your belly. So when you're breathing in, expand, breathe out through the mouth, contract. So I'm not sure if you can really see this, but I will attempt, right? So there's the belly, right? Ooh, the belly, and breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So that is one of the things that I really enjoy to help me to get to a place where it's like, okay, I can think with a clear mind and with clear emotions, you know, and going forward in a good way. Next is eating right. Remember when I spoke about serotonin and how when we consume tryptophan, which is an amino acid through the protein, our bodies take it in and we are feeling good. The serotonin is helping with other aspects of our body. We are working in good working order. So definitely I like to do my best to eat the rainbow or people say making sure I have a colorful plate with all different types of, you know, certain things that are best for me to eat in order to be healthy at my best self. And what is the plus better than eating food that not only tastes good, but feel good too. So experimenting in the kitchen and also make sure you speak with your doctor about, um, you know, the, the best eating regimen for yourself. Please take into consideration any allergies and so on and so forth, okay? So there's that. Another thing that's really helped me a lot was therapy. Therapy, going to see a therapist is such an important thing, especially when you feel so overwhelmed with anything that you have experienced, right? As I mentioned before, certain, um, we have, a lot of us have, uh, experienced losses or um, some of us such as I who have dealt with some serious health issues for me with lupus and end-stage renal disease and therefore going through those changes from being like super super healthy to like whoa what's my body doing here you know going to see a therapist getting it off of my chest right was like one of the best things I've ever done and some people are hesitant to go to a therapist because they feel like they won't be understood or the therapist doesn't understand their culture. The beautiful thing that did happen with the whole 2020 thing is that a lot of people went digital with their workspaces. And so there are some um, options to get therapy digitally. And you can always, of course, you know, you can uh, search for individuals who you will think will work best for you. Sometimes the first therapist doesn't work for you. That's happened with me. I had to switch, um, you know, a therapist or two in order, I, in order to find the right fit. Again, you know, this is something you find it, check with your doctor. After that, we have exercise. Now I enjoy doing yoga. Okay, yoga is one of my favorite things because I enjoy stretching and I enjoy my breathing. So it's a great combination. And not only that, but it's very meditative for me. So it's like, okay, I'm dedicating this time to give myself the self-care that I need. And I feel like yoga is like what some would say a very sacred time to just honor myself and to honor my body. And so that's one of the reasons why I enjoy doing yoga and stretching. Other activities that um, people have done has been biking, um, aerobics, <laughs> dance classes, 
um, swimming, running, walking. There's so many different ways to get your body moving. Even if you're sitting down right now, you can twirl your feet, um, you know, move your hands around, whatever it is that helps you to just feel good, get that exercise in. Because remember, endorphins is one of the things that is activated when we exercise. Another important thing is rest. Getting proper rest. There is a little clip that I have seen of it's two young brothers. They're probably like maybe two and four years old. And they're at the dinner table and they're eating. And one of them is crying, crying, crying. And the other one looks and he's like, do you need a nap? <laughs> and you know, that's that there is truth to that. We have to get our rest. We have to get good quality rest, you know, um, and doing it consistently because we are creatures of habit. Believe it or not, there's certain things. It's an alignment with nature. I mean, nature has a habit. We have, you know, 24 hours in a day and we see the sun for a certain amount of time and then it goes away a certain time. Then we have the seasons and all that stuff. So there is a certain type of cycle, a certain type of uh, time that in which we move. And so getting sleep in accordance with your work schedule and all that other stuff, um, make sure you get it in. Okay, some people say typically seven to nine hours. Again, speak with your doctor about it and what's best for you. And, you know, ha I have some suggestions down below on um, research that has been proven to help with proper sleep. So, last but not least, do what you love doing. One of the things that I say when it comes to doing what you love is what did you love to do as a child? Reach in, go back, think about it. What was it that you enjoyed doing as a child so much? Is that dopamine kicking in? <laughs> so definitely um, whether it's painting, whether it's acting, whether it's running or doing cartwheels and backflips or whatever. Do something creative, creating something with your hands. Um, some people like to collect things, or some people like to study family history. Who knows, what, whatever mix, well, I don't know if that was something you do as a child, but some people, they were interested in things, you know, maybe some history, who knows. Whatever the case is, do what you love doing, okay? And I hope that's helped give you some ideas considering the things that has helped me of course um again i do have some resources down below that should be able to help you um with some ideas of things that you know if you've been a little stuck or been not so in touch with your inner child of course you can you know take a little peek see what's out there um and also please make sure to take care of yourself be active in your self-care and like and share this video with anyone who you feel may need some inspiration for their mental health as um, this is something that's very important. It's a very serious issue that's going on now. Okay, so I hope you all continue to have a wonderful day and until next time.